Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? And welcome to another video. So this week I thought that I would post an extra video just to spice things up a little bit because it's my YouTube channel's birthday. We've been doing this for one year and surprisingly I haven't done a Q&A yet. So I thought what more perfect time than to do a Q&A because I just want to know you guys more and I want you guys to know me more. So that's why. I understand if you guys don't like this content, it's an extra video, so if you would like the normal artsy content, there's gonna be an art video next Tuesday, so yeah. Okay, first question. We're getting spicy in here. How old are you? I'm seven. I'm kidding. I am actually 12. I actually became 12 this last May. How do you make money as an artist? Now, I don't have a lot of experience in how to make money as an artist, but I have a few experiences. I, for example, sold my art. I tried going to a gallery once and they didn't accept me. I went to another gallery, it was terrible, so I didn't want to go in it. And the gallery that I was approved to, I just didn't like it. So since then, I have been selling my work online. I sold like five drawings and one painting online up till now and it's been going great i didn't need like a website or anything i sold them on my instagram i wrote the price i wrote the dimensions i wrote where i can ship the other way is by like affiliate marketing where you put all of the art supplies that you use down in the description and over time as you build a following people will actually start to trust you and they will go on these affiliate links and buy the product and that way you're gonna get some extra money obviously i don't do that because i have a small following but once i have a bigger following one day inshallah i will start doing that third way is by doing youtube when you hit a thousand subscribers you get monetized and you start getting money on the ads that are on your videos right now we are at 265 subscribers so yeah we've got a long way to go but hopefully we're gonna get there someday next question how do you deal with hate people say oh well it's nothing I, it's nothing well it stays in your head and sometimes it got to me but what i learned from doing youtube one year is that there's gonna be hate and the people who hate on you online they will never have the guts to go up to you in person and tell you the thing that they are saying online never ever will they have the guts so i just brush it off how many siblings do you have two sisters yasmin and nisreen her sister is so cute what's her name i just said yasmin and nisreen favorite dish sushi what is your routine my, my like daily routine normally is i wake up at seven and I get out of bed at around 7.15, 7.30. I shower, have breakfast, get my setup going, start working at maybe 8 or 8.15, work and start painting or editing, doing whatever I do, have a break maybe at around 12, sit with my mom a little bit, continue painting and stuff. And if I have like a training, or something like that sometimes I have two in a day so it depends every day it's different but I like plan everything because I have a lot of videos like like I am filming and editing a bunch of different videos at a time so every day it's different I kind of have a schedule but I don't really like go on it I have it if I need it but I mostly stick to it day by day I say like today I'm gonna be doing this this and this and if i have time i will also do this that's basically it and yeah i sleep at 9 9 30 10 10 30 and it depends on my mood i guess <sighs> my throat hurts how many times do you brush your teeth two or one or sometimes this is really gross but sometimes i go a whole day without brushing my teeth like, last week when I was sick, I just didn't have the energy to even go to the toilet and brush my teeth. How long does it take you to edit one of your videos? It takes so long. It honestly takes so, so freaking long. Like, at the beginning when I began this YouTube channel, it took me 10 to 15 minutes to edit one of my videos. How? I don't know. Now it takes me from 10 to 15 hours 
to edit one of my videos, like one of my beaming videos. But if it's a simple video, like six or eight hours, because when I'm beaming, I obviously lift my hand on the canvas to mix paint, to grab something, you know, all that stuff. And when you speed it up, it looks so choppy. So what I do is that I edit. So every time my hand lifts from the canvas, I cut it out and blah, 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 blah. So this is the reason the editing takes so long for me. Morning or night person. I'm a morning person. So I basically mixed these two things up. Basically, I said that I was a morning person, but in reality, I'm a night person. What I was trying to say here is that I wake up early in the morning because I like to be productive because at night I'm really tired but if it was for me I would wake up at night but like this is much better for me it's much better for my routine but I gotta do what I gotta do how do you have the power to not be talented at all thanks I guess okay next question it's an interesting question how did you start doing art buckle up for a story because it's a long one in fact let me get a pillow we're getting comfy. It basically all started when I was a child. I was always the child who did arts, mainly crafts. Since I was like three year old, I had scissors in my hands, the metal ones, yeah. People used to question me. And I was just making some stuff. Did it look good? No. Did I have fun? Yes. Did I keep on doing it? Yes. And yeah, I kept on doing like arts and crafts, as a kid, you know, and eventually I turned like six, yes, six. I really like was obsessed with, with doing crafts. And so I got a lot of supplies. I started making a lot of stuff. Again, it wasn't any good. And yeah, I got really into it. And then I turned around eight, eight and a half. And I just stopped doing crafts because I wasn't like, the happiest with how they turned out and yeah i just didn't do them for about a year or so i didn't do art much and then the whole corona thing happened my dad told me abdallah okay you're, we're gonna be stuck in home all day so you're not gonna be playing watching tv all day so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the art store now before it closes and lockdown happens and we are gonna get some art supplies so i was like okay and we went to the art store we got some supplies i got my first canvas ever my first acrylic paint set some brushes and i made my first painting which here it is i don't know why i did it on such a tall canvas i do stuff around here and yeah then i kept on doing some paintings and then I had the amazing idea one day to start a YouTube channel. I filmed a couple videos, hated how everything was going. Then I said for once, I want to become a YouTuber. I am going to become a YouTuber. So I was like heavily influenced by Jazza, Super Ray Dizzle, Chloe Rose Art, VHC, all these people. And I said, I'm going to be like them. So I did this painting in a video. I hardly knew how to paint at the time. See, everybody starts somewhere. And I edited the video. I didn't know anything about editing. It was my first time editing a video. And I uploaded it to YouTube and got a bloody amount of views. It's like my second most watched video on YouTube up till now. And yeah, this is how everything has been going. It's been over a year since I have uploaded my first YouTube videos and things have been going great. OMG, I love your art so much. You are so talented. Keep it up. You know that I had to throw it in there. It's not a question, but it's a compliment. And I enjoy a good compliment, don't I? Next one is a request for a video. Can you do a video where you paint with things that you find in nature? Yeah, I can. I actually just thought of this video yesterday. So thank you. Can you do a video where you paint on every card in a playing card deck? absolutely not fun fact i actually thought about the idea of doing this video once after i did a tiktok video where i painted on cards i thought oh it's easy then i actually went in from filming the video 
I spent two and a half hours taping each individual card. After it said two hours and a half or two hours, I can't remember. I said to myself, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? If it took me this long to tape each card, how long will it take me to, to paint each card? I started guessing every card. It took me an hour to guess out every card. I was like three-ish, four-ish hours into the video. I started painting the first few cards. I wasn't happy with how they were turning out. It was so small. I wasn't enjoying it. I wasted five hours on my life. Is that normal? And yeah, guys, thank you all for tuning in. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to thumbs up the video and make sure you subscribe. Thank you all for the support in the last year again and yeah i will see you on the next video bye bye